Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a swatch party for the new ColourPop Fall Shadows that just came out. I picked up nine of them and uh, I'm gonna go through them, tell you their names, swatch them on my eyes and show you dupes and comparisons with other shadows from the ColourPop collection and some Makeup Geek ones as well. My love for Colourpop press shadows is not a secret. I have four of these palettes and they are just amazing formula. They work really, really well. They have bright colors. I have lots of neutrals from them as well. I really, really love their pressed shadows. There are different finishes. They have mattes, classic shimmers. They have sort of glitter type. Uh, shades as well as duochromes and they're not official let's say finishes but this is just what my observations are from uh, swatching them and using them on a almost daily basis. For fall 2017 Colourpop launched three uh, bundles of six shadows. I think in total there were 17 new shades in there and I picked up nine of them because I thought a few were repeats or just not too interesting for me. And uh, let's get through this. The first shade I'm gonna talk about is called Now and Zen. And uh, this is a white base with a very yellow gold um, duochrome shift. It's a gorgeous shade. It applies very well on the lid with a brush, but it doesn't give a full effect until you put it, I would say, in the inner corner or on top of another shadow. It is a quite similar to um, a few other shades. Play, play by Play, also by Colourpop, is similar, and uh, so is Karma by Makeup Geek. However, those do not have a white base. They have more of a peachy base to them. I think Now and Zen fits very well in the collection. It's a beautiful inner corner highlight. The next shade is called Two Birds and this is the most beautiful yellow warm gold and it is very pigmented immediately with a brush. In these swatches I'm using a dry brush and uh, this applies amazing. It is a spot-on dupe for Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadow in Untamed and uh, Makeup Geek Foiled shadows cost $10 whereas these by Colourpop are only 5 The formula is a little bit different and it's not as uh, dimethicone and not as uh, metallic. That can be obtained by uh, foiling the shadow with some uh, setting spray. The next shade is Paper Crane and this is a beautiful, beautiful orangey copper shade. It is almost a dead-on dupe for the limited edition pressed shadow Millie that they had released for their 1 million followers on Facebook, I think. I'm not sure, but that is not um, released anymore and this is almost the same shade. It's a little bit more muted and the formula is a little bit more compact. I love both and if you have Millie, you definitely don't need Paper Crane. But if you missed out on Millie, this is your chance to get a similar shade. Makeup Geek Flamethrower is more orange and there are silver glitters in there. The next shade is the first matte. This is called Imperial and this is a orangey terracotta shade. It's not very brown, it is quite bright and it, it's a beautiful transition shade for in the crease. It is uh, almost a perfect dupe for cutouts by Colourpop and therefore I don't think that if you have one you need the other. But between the two I think Imperial is much more suited for the season we are in. The next shade is Facet and Facet is the perfect burgundy shade for fall. This goes on very smooth, it blends really really well and it's a perfect crease and outer V shade. It is a very similar to Cute Alert by Colourpop again but it is slightly more red and less purple and it same goes for, for Makeup Geek Cherry Cola. Compared to Bitten, Facet is darker. 
Next, let's go in my favorite two shades. And uh, the first one is called the Tea Garden. And this is a beautiful duochrome with a warm brown base and an incredible light green shimmer on top. It is very similar to Ritzy by Makeup Geek, but the formula of the ColourPop one is so much more metallic and shimmery than the other. And uh, it is definitely, definitely one of my favorites in this collection. The other favorite is also duochrome and it's called Glass Bull. I wore it on top of a look I did with Anastasia Subculture on Instagram and I loved and everybody was saying how gorgeous it is. Light purple base with a very, very strong minty baby blue shift. The formula of the shadow is also extremely wet looking and it's best applied with the fingers. And uh, I thought it was similar to Nabla Alchemy, but Nabla Alchemy has a much stronger base and a, sort of a different shift. The idea is similar, but I find Glass Bowl much more wearable because it has less color to it. Then the final two shades are to what I call regular shimmers. The first one is called Snake Eyes and uh, this is a cool toned sandy rose color. It's difficult to explain. It's a beautiful neutral all over the lid. It's not particularly shiny. It's very everyday appropriate and uh, I compared it to Makeup Geek Starry Eyed and Makeup Geek Mesmerized, but they are sort of different. I find this to be in between the two and um, it has definitely less shine than the Makeup Geek Foiled Shadows. Also comparable to Mesmerized by Makeup Geek is the last eyeshadow called Dragonfly and this is a dark cool toned brown with a little bit of a purple to it, um, I find. And this is very close to Nabla Tribeca and uh, as I mentioned, Makeup Geek Mesmerized. Not particularly shimmery, but a beautiful everyday shade. And uh, these were the nine eyeshadows I picked up from the ColourPop Faux collection. As I mentioned in my swatches, my favorite is absolutely uh, glass bowl and tea garden even though um, two birds and paper crane are very close and facet is a beautiful beautiful mat. I would uh, probably stay clear of uh, um, these two regular shimmer shades. I didn't find them particularly interesting for me plus I'm not one for cool tone shades. There are of course other shades in the collection I just didn't find that they were the right shades for me, so um, let me know in the comments below what you thought was the most interesting shade of this collection. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this different style of swatches. It's a bit more time consuming and I'm not sure it actually shows all the potential of the uh, eyeshadow as doing a look. But I know this was suggested and I really appreciate the suggestion. I thought it was a good idea and a different way of swatching things. Let me know what you think in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already and check out my other ColourPop swatch videos that I will link in the playlist at the end of uh, this video and in the description box. I am out to make dinner and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!